We have already talked about DA fits, that is the influence of a point when we are trying to predict the y value of that same point itself. So for that we have deleted that case and then tried to predict the y value of that point based on the remaining n minus 1 points. Now one problem with this is that when we are working with n points, we might be interested in the in other things also. That is, you drop the third point, you want to know how that influences the prediction for the say, tenth point. In this case, we drop the third point and we became interested in how the prediction of y value for the third point itself was affected. Now, if we want to take all these cross terms also, then there are too many of them. There are n square many of them and it is difficult to summarize them. Now, Cook's distance is a way of doing that summarization and it is defined in this way. Cook's distance di stands for, so here i is the particular case that you are deleting. Cook's distance for that is the following. You try to predict all the things using the entire data that is your yj hat. Now, you drop that ith case and again you try to predict all the things that is your yj hat i you take the L2 norm between them. So you take y hat, the entire y hat based on the entire data and also the entire y hat without using the ith case. But you are still predicting everything including the ith case. Take the L2 norm that is the numerator and standardize it by dividing it with p plus 1 into sigma square hat. Remember, when you are using sigma square hat, you are using the full estimator. That's how Cook's distance is defined. I am not entirely sure why you are not using sigma square hat i. Possibly this will give you certain better mathematical properties or something like that. I do not know. And this p plus 1 basically is the total number of columns in x. So p many regressors plus there is 1 intercept term. So if you do not have the intercept term, you drop the 1. And remember, this is not really for the ANOVA setup. This is for the multiple regression setup. All the things are continuous. Then the di's give you one particular vector. Or do you want it to up to dn? And that is what was printed. So naturally, if any of these quantities is large, then you suspect that that has a strong influence on the quality of the fit.